Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next five seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 is rapidly approaching, with us being around 50% way through Chapter 3 Season 2 already, and with us knowing just before the start of Season 2 that Doctor Strange would be integrated into the Battle Pass as one of the main skins then shown in that cinematic trailer for Season 2. As you can see by the title of today's video, we not only have everything to discuss about Season 3, all the leaks pouring out, but specifically what Battle Pass skins are going to be included and made sense of arriving in that next trailer. There's so much more news, leaks and information to cover today, I highly recommend and sitting back relaxing with your favourite snacks to stick around and watch the full video because who doesn't love new season news right? And whilst you're doing that one favour you can do for me that takes 2 seconds and is 100% free to do is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. Entering this code not only puts a giant smile on my face but also cheers up my pug Gus as he's been kinda sad about the fact he knows 70% of you watching right now are not subscribed. So if you hit the big red button right now you will help us on our final push to 2.5 million subs as we've just reached 2.4 million right now so get clicking. After all this only benefits you too considering I get different subscribers every single day who are simply yes subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment their Epic Games ID down below and potentially what they'd like to receive so yeah that could be you gifted in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the very next video on the channel. But with that said now enough messing around we need to dive into everything Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3 and specifically how these new Battle Pass skins are going to be arriving in the trailer and made sense of so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm not, I'm sitting on my back. So to kick start things off with Chapter 3 Season 3 of course if you've been living under a rock and don't really know when this season ends if you've not looked at the battle pass in the bottom left at all as you can see it's state to end june 3rd 2022 it's unlikely this update being version 21 is going to be extended or delayed in any way as epic games not only have all of the updates planned out for the end of this season as we're currently in the mid-season one being 20.20 when i'm recording as you can see sheena states on screen that there's only going to be up to 20.40 before we do go into chapter 3 season 3 being 21.00 which will also have five downtime updates in this entire season. Unlike last season, considering it was the first of a brand new chapter and reflecting back to chapter 2 season 1, we didn't see a live event in this season but we did in chapter 2 season 2 as we never saw a live event in chapter 3 season 1 with the files indicating yes we're going to be seeing a live event soon and it's going to be ending off this season directly going into downtime for the next. Before we reveal any of the potential battle pass skins that Epic Games have accidentally let slip, we need to cover and touch on quickly all of the details about not only the next live event but the first one of this third chapter on the Flipside Island. To start this process out we need to rewind to chapter 2 season 8 and what went down during the end event, a war clearly established or conflict between the imagined order and the seven which then got turned onto this island last season chapter 3 season 1 where we could not only see that the seven have a base of operations in the sanctuary region of the island with the foundation as a mythic boss but as days passed of course we saw drills from the imagined order popping up around the map which eventually led to them setting up a permanent base of operations being Covert Cavern which we now know as Command Cavern which has been revamped or kind of developed off of and with the season 2 trailer introducing the biggest addition to this conflict between these two factions the Seven and the Imagined Order overall with Dr. Sloan pressing this button to disable builds for two weeks where we didn't even have a choice of whether we wanted to play zero build or just normal build modes of Fortnite. Even though this was a very innovative and experimental move for Epic Games to make they've obviously integrated it into this part of the storyline this war going on currently in game of which we're not only seeing happen in terms of territorial boundaries around the map, blue representing the seven and red representing the imagined order, of which are slowly getting pushed back and we're going to be revealing where to and how far in just a second. And despite us not only seeing it on our map, we can physically get involved in game with the mini live events that actually help the seven push out the imagined order from certain named locations, crashing the blimps that we see in the sky well into the outskirts island or even on it, which we're going to see with this blimp at Coney Crossroads. Data miners not only already found that this is going to be the first blimp crashing onto the island but don't forget the next blimp that's set to be crashing and then the next mini live event of course that is going to be occurring is going to be at Rocky Reels and with us slowly more so approaching these final stages now of where the imagined order zones are being pushed back to as you can see in this very very final zone it looks like they only have control remaining over their base of operations being command cavern where they initially have set up everything and then perhaps what you may think is random but is more important than command cavern itself being loot lake. Despite 
despite many people not even knowing this location on the outskirts of Tilted or this big lake in the centre point of our island is actually called Loot Lake in this dimension. From the previous context of Chapter 1 we know Loot Lake has been very important in the past, even with the Zero Point residing under it in the vault that the Mecha Team leader pulled out during the final showdown to slay the Polar Peak or Devour a monster. Based off leaks now it looks like this importance for Loot Lake being a location on any map isn't going anywhere, as Hypex tweeted out the following, in Jones' new voice lines he mentions that the IO are working on a new Doomsday device, and for those that don't know, the Doomsday device was, well, the device in the device live event, which we know also came from the same area out of the ground that the Zero Point resided under as revealed in the Chapter 2 Season 4 Galactus live event. And speaking of the device live event, of course, more interestingly now, Hypex follows up with the following, according to Jones' challenges noticed by Egyptian leaker, he asks you to put recon cameras near Loot Lake to get more info about Io's Doomsday device, and in the last Territories map stage, we could see that the Io gets to keep Loot Lake, so we could see an event there. Honestly, it really wouldn't surprise me if Epic Games went ahead and had the live event occur over Loot Lake, rather so the most obvious or even presumed location for it to be happening at or in or over, which is currently Command Cavern being the Io's base of operation. Of course, we're going to be getting more insight and leaks, however, not everything revealed in these brand new updates being 20.30 and 40, and especially that last update, considering I do believe this live event to be occurring again going straight into downtime, then releasing after it lifts Chapter 3 Season 3. Typically, live events as a whole, too, have a connection to the next cinematic trailer, and obviously that then being well linked to the Battle Pass skins, as they're in both. An example of this was the end event even going into Chapter 3 overall. As you guys know, in Chapter 2 Season 8, the island flipped. As a result of that, and the weight being distributed back into the water, we got hit with a giant wave, which left us stranded, eventually then washing us up on the Chapter 3 island, which was also linked to the introduction cutscene that we could actually be involved with. And again, reflecting back on the Doomsday Live event, of course, it brought this giant storm wave, being a major environmental or weather-based map change, which gave us our first flooded island in Chapter 2 Season 3, and the reason I say the first is because, as you can see, Sentinel Central tweeted out right here, there is currently a glitch where some part of the map would appear flooded on Android devices, almost as if Epic Games already have a flood plan to happen as a result of the next Doomsday or the next device live event has occurred and Epic Games already have this planned as a result of it occurring, another map flooded. Maybe that's a visual glitch, maybe it's a coincidence, either way it makes sense with the device live event set to be happening again. And speaking of this event occurring with the outcome currently undetermined of course, we're not going to know what's exactly happening until the event occurs itself, but with us knowing it most likely goes into downtime straight away as previously mentioned, that then opens the door for exactly how our new Battle Pass skins are going to be making their way onto the island involved in the trailer and what those are going to be. As of recently, I'm sure a lot of you are aware there was an Unreal Engine broadcast and on one of the developers' monitors, as you can see right here, there was not only a folder called C3S3 Vader, but also one with the codename Jones and many people thought this was just another variant of Jonesy that we see in Fortnite, but it turns out, thanks to Sheena and other data miners or people getting inside information in the community, that not only is this meaning Indiana Jones is coming to Fortnite, but Darth Vader too. With Indiana Jones being worked on for quite some time in terms of a collaborative integration into Fortnite, apparently in the background, we've had many teases pointing toward him upcoming. Not only in Chapter 2 Season 5, with this fridge kind of lodged in the desert that was basically out of one of the films where he survives a new blast, but also with this same easter egg now being put onto the Chapter 3 island, I believe in also one of the desert regions right here. And with us knowing Fortnite is built up of a multiverse with so many collaborations going on, and even outside of the physical storyline that we see in game. As you guys may or may not know, as of recently, there's been a brand new comic book series announced called Fortnite x Marvel Zero War, where they go into the Marvel Universe, the Fortnite characters and Marvel ones in search of the elusive Zero Shard to turn the tide in this war between the Imagined Order and the Seven, and for this reason it wouldn't surprise me if even more things off this developer's PC, such as the folder saying Doom and also Family Guy, weren't also integrated as Battle Pass skins for Chapter 3 Season 3, also shown in the cinematic trailer, appearing on the island for the first time again, like Doctor Strange in Chapter 3 Season 2's Resistance trailer. Coincidentally too, these comic books for Fortnite x Marvel Zero War are going to be releasing just after the release of Chapter 3 Season 3, so reading these alongside following the story of Season 3 may give us more insight as to what's even happening at the end of that season leading into Season 4. Furthermore, interestingly, however, to do with a dormant character in the Fortnite storyline that we believe to be dead, however, Donald must have confirmed he isn't, is Midas potentially also returning for, again, this device live event as we know he manufactured, built, and even operated 
operated the device during the Doomsday event initially in Chapter 2 Season 2. Not only does it make sense for him to be returning based off the fact the IO somehow have managed to create a Doomsday device, and with whose help, as he was the only one who manufactured it, but it also makes sense based off the fact there's currently another Midas skin that hasn't released off these surveys as of yet, as you can see page 1 and 2. These are all the current survey skins that have released, obviously that have been highlighted in grey or coloured over, and then the ones that haven't are skins that are currently set to release or be upcoming in the world of Fortnite. Perhaps even some, if not most of these, could be making up the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass, despite the other skins I've already mentioned, as there's usually 7 or 8 outfits within every Battle Pass we see. Obviously, for more information on all of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on, and drop a like in this video if you enjoyed or want to keep referring back to any of the information or get it out there to more people. But speaking of other videos, make sure to interact with anything on screen right now, I don't mind, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you guys, or just you, the individual watching right now, in the very next video I do post on the channel.